All right, so we'll continue with the discussion we had the other day. We were talking about types of writing. We talked about creative writing and, of course, informal and formal writing. I hope you have gone through it and you know the difference. Now, today, we are moving forward towards objectives and subjective writing. Any idea what is objective writing and subjective writing? And objective writing means we are talking regarding some specific thing. For example, if we are discussing cars, it's kind of an objective. Or no, sorry, sorry, sorry. If there is any motive behind it, I think it's an objective writing. So you are saying that in subjective writing or subjective thinking, we don't have a motive or motto. We always have a motto, by the way. Whether we are writing, speaking, or reading, there is a motive behind it, which is actually pronounced as motif. Right? Uh, my point over here is objective writing and subjective writing are, for your standard, for your level, should be very simple. For example, if you are writing something personal, that is subjective, where your point of view, your understanding, your criticism, your critical evaluation is concerned, that is subjective, where your decisions are influenced by your internal or external factors that affect you to come to a decision. Objective writing, on the other hand, is something that is balanced or neutral for that matter, where your point of view does not matter. You look at the matter from all the perspectives and you come to a conclusion. But in subjective writing, what do you do? You simply write, I have done this, I feel like, I want to do this, I need to do this. Whenever you use such expressions, you are doing subjective writing. But let's say that you have, you are supposed to report on a um, fight between two groups that you have just witnessed. How would you write? How would you start? Let's say you have to write a report on it, right? There are two groups, they are fighting in the corridor. How would you start? What would be the starting sentence? You won't say, my friends were fighting with group B. You I was passing by. I was passing by and I saw a fight between two groups that I did not know. Group A had five people, group B had three. They were verbally abusing each other. I'm not sure what was the problem, but I could hear them say, etc., etc. You just quote the things that you have heard. You're not going to add anything. Let's reverse the roles. Let's say one of the groups are your friends. Then you say, I was passing by and I saw my friends in a fight. They were fighting with the group. And I know my friends were not incorrect because I know the matter beforehand. So that is subjective. You are not looking at both. You know, a coin has two perspectives. If you are not looking at the other one, यानी दो सिक्के सॉरी एक सिक्के के दो पहलू होते हैं और आप दोनों पहलुओं को नहीं देख रहे. That is going to be subjective conclusion. For example, uh, this might make more sense to you. Some of you think that teachers uh, they are biased. They do favoritism. Right? They like this particular student, that's why they have given them more marks. Otherwise, my write-up was exactly the same the way he had done it. Right? So that is your subjective point of view looking at the teacher or the conversation that the teacher has with certain students. That is your subjective point of view, clouding your judgment. You won't look at your own write-up that it does have problems. वो आप भूल जाएंगे आपको सिर्फ उस टीचर के अच्छे से बात करना याद रह जाएगा तो सब्जेक्टिविटी इज यूजुअली समथिंग दैट वुड एक्चुअली हिंडर योर अथॉरिटेटिव नेचर टू कम टू अ कंक्लूजन व्हिच इज न्यूट्रलाइज्ड यानी आपकी इमोशंस जो है दे कम इन टू प्ले व्हेन यू आर इमोशनल यू थिंक फ्रॉम योर हार्ट यू आर नॉट थिंकिंग फ्रॉम योर हेड डू यू एग्री यस डू यू थिंक that's an important question. Do you think actually, if you do, sometimes your decisions are influenced by your mind and sometimes by your heart. So they say if it is influenced by your heart, that then it is going to be subjective. And if you think, logically think, then it's going to be objective. Jaha par aapka point of view hinder nahi karta actual facts ko. Thik hai? Ma'am, if you keep, if you have any, if you have opinion regarding something, that means it's subjective. It is subjective, but you can actually state that in an objective manner, how that is going, what, that is what I'm going to tell you. Let's say you have an opinion, you do not agree with uh, a scientific research, you want to change the direction, right? You come up with uh, relevant literature review, relevant points, relevant logic, 
let's say both of us we want to go to uh, Mari. Let's right now your subjective or objective way to uh, decide the way would be different. You might take the longer route because you like driving. I would take the shorter one because I don't like traveling at all. Differences would be there. Conclusion हम ने एक ही जगह जाना है लेकिन हमारी जो approach है वो different हो सकती है ना Similarly, when you come to a conclusion, बेशक वो scientific हो जैसे आपने environmental sciences के student हैं या वो दूसरी degree के student हैं और आपने एक assignment कर ली है दोनों को similar किस्म की मिली है आप दोनों की approaches different होने का chance है because the way you have been treated in the university and the way you are carrying out your stuff in my opinion this is my personal opinion and observation that if you are from gsit you have a different approach you want to write in bullet points you don't want to go into details you just want to read it and get rid of it if you are from environmental sciences you are open to reading isn't that so because in environmental sciences you have more to read but in uh, gsit you have less to read what other degree are you studying maybe Geophys geophysics. geophysics okay in that you are supposed to read a lot as well yes you must have physics and mathematical calculus or something like that but you have more theoretical stuff at the moment isn't that so so you are inclined towards reading more at the moment but if you have other degree uh, remote sensing or something yes, yes. oh yes so you must be uh, more inclined towards objective way of reading you are just going to get the facts and just memorize it now look at the pictures they tell you the answer between objective and subjective right objective is it will have facts which are reliable which are authentic which could be <coughs> verified in one way or another that is going to be objective subjective would be having a bias in it or your own prejudice or some judgmental point of view in it some kind of criticism or something or maybe your opinion that is subjective do you understand yes yeah, sure yes. yes again read the meaning yourself subjective is now there are many words in english language mm -hmm. that sound very similar but have completely opposite meanings one of the examples in is the subjective and objective pair with only a couple of letters different these two words are actually antonyms i hope you understand what are antonyms what are those opposite word alfaz mutazad to be precise so subjective means information is anything that is based on personal opinion judgment feeling or point of view or criticism or commentary for that matter objective means information that is factual and based on observations and measurements you do a scientific um, experiment in a lab it is only authentic and reliable if the other person does it and they come to a same conclusion otherwise it's going to be incorrect scientific uh, of course you must have background of uh, fsc or ics or something like that and you must have seen some experiments in labs have you seen some yes, yes? so you are supposed to come to a same kind of reading or conclusion or output isn't that so yes. right that is why that experiment is reliable and authentic and objective to be precise because no matter whosoever is going to try it they are going to get to the same conclusion however subjective would something uh, would include something that is personal after a thorough examination of literature when i say literature do you understand the word literature over here previous stud studies previous experiments something that has happened already and that aids to your new uh, outcome that you are looking for ya koi aur experiment karne lage hain to us experiment mein pahunchne ke liye aapko uski ek case study karni padti hai context ke background study karni padti hai all of that study is included in literature jisse aap previous studies se yaad kar sakte hain an academic writing comes to a careful judgment the convention of objective writing is the arguments use impartial language which is not personal judgmental or emotive what is impartial language partial would mean uh, being biased aap kehte hain na ki aap mere sath partiality kar rahe hain you should give me a chance you're being biased you're being one sided so partial language kya hogi 
जैसे वही झगड़ा हम दोबारा उसी केस को ले लेते हैं देर इज अ फाइट बिटवीन टू ग्रुप्स सो इम पार्शल लैंग्वेज क्या होगी जैसे उन्होंने स्टार्ट किया कि आई वॉज पासिंग बाय आई सॉ टू ग्रुप्स फाइटिंग विद ईच अदर दैट इज इम पार्शल बट बट इफ आई से आई वॉज पासिंग बाय आई सॉ माई थ्री फ्रेंड्स इन टू अ फाइट एंड आई न्यू दैट इन दैट मोमेंट दैट आई नीड टू हेल्प दैम बिकॉज दे आर इन द राइट दैट इज इम पार्शल बिकॉज आपने प्री जज कर लिया कि मैंने अपने फ्रेंड्स को हेल्प करना ही करना है क्योंकि वो ही करेक्ट सो दिस इज हाउ यू अवॉइड इम पार्शल लैंग्वेज इन योर केस बिकॉज योर पार्ट ऑफ एकेडेमिक राइटिंग दी अदर डे वी टॉक्ड अबाउट डिफरेंस बिटवीन क्रिएटिव राइटिंग एंड एकेडेमिक राइटिंग यू आर मोर कंसर्न विद एकेडेमिक राइटिंग राइट यू मस्ट बी एबल टू राइट स्पीक एंड कॉन्वर्सेट इन एकेडेमिक राइटिंग सो यू मस्ट रेडिकेट सच वर्ड्स यू मस्ट बी एबल टू यूज लेस पर्सनल प्रोनाउंस until and unless you are writing an opinion paragraph or an essay where you are supposed to give your own opinion that's a little different other than that even if you are doing research article uh, report writing letter writing or job application etc etc you are supposed to use third person pronoun you are supposed to write in third person objective language therefore is considered fair and accurate it avoids exaggeration and bias and shows respect for the views of others what is exaggeration overly explain something overly explain something uh to state something more than it is badha chadha ke batana that is exaggeration by is mein aapko bata chuki hu one sidedness jisse aap urdu mein janebdar kehna keh sakte hain everyday language is subjective is that so the way we interact with each other with each other in our house on daily basis let's say if you come by a bus or a local bus or a taxi or some other vehicle you talk to certain people on daily basis that kind of talk is subjective that is definitely subjective ab aap logon ko kaha jata hai usually not aap log i am generically speaking about students if we ask them to write uh, a letter I have seen it that they are unable to produce an academic letter. Let's say they have to write a letter for apology or letter for another quiz that I should take from them because their uh, previous score was not up to the mark. They would simply write, "I would like to give another quiz because my marks were not good." Full stop. That's not how you write an academic letter. You explain that I did not attend the previous. Uh, or you can say the uh, quiz that was held on falana date was uh, considered the final quiz and i'm not able to get good marks out of it i was not able to get um, score good marks out of it therefore i need i request you to give me another chance or etc etc this is how you should be writing lekin bachche nahi likh pate because uh, i understand the new books the books that i've read after 2019 they actually tell tell you to use personal pronoun but the books that are prescribed in your syllabus at the moment they tell you not to use personal pronoun if you ask my opinion i think we should be able to own our own writing if you are writing why cannot we use i why cannot we take responsibility of what we are saying we shouldn't be using i you know redundantly or repeatedly ki aapka ek paragraph hai aur usme aapne koi सात दफ़ा आई यूज़ कर लिया दैट शुड बी अवॉइडेड बट इट शुड बी अलाउड दैट इज माई पर्सनल ओपिनियन वॉट डू यू से डू यू डू यू थिंक दैट पर्सनल प्रोनाउंस शुड बी अलाउड येस और नो टू सम एक्सटेंट दे शुड बी लेट से इफ यू वॉन्ट टू प्लीड अबाउट समथिंग यू वॉन्ट टू रिक्वेस्ट यू शुड बी एबल टू से दैट आई रिक्वेस्ट यू वाई शुड यू से इट इज रिक्वेस्टेड प्लीज गिव मी दिस और प्लीज ग्रांट मी अ चांस फॉर समथिंग I shall be very thankful is a sentence that we must take out of our writing yes. once and forever. And yes, when you open your letter, never say "Assalamu alaikum." I hope you are doing fine. That's absolutely incorrect. I understand some of the schools and teachers they have, they might have told you to write this way, but this is the point that where we unlearn those things and we relearn the things that are accurate. हम कभी भी letters जो official होते हैं personal correspondence से start नहीं करते. because people do not have time to read this jisse hum urdu mein kehte hain tamheed nahi baandni come to the point whatever the point is we specific write less your sentences should be less wordier but we uh, tend to write 
more words i tend to write more words because i have been trained in such a manner to write in a passive manner that i write more sentences than it is required to do so so humne kya karna hai we are going to make our sentences less objective less wordier and less informal we are going to make it more academic formal and objective as much as we can of course we cannot achieve it overnight ya ek semester mein nahi ho payega but we need to start from somewhere so coming back to this discussion everyday language is subjective it is it is used to express opinions based on personal values beliefs and preferences rather than evidence opinions tend to be based on subjective judgment rather than an information that can be verified an opinion is a belief that someone holds without complete proof that is correct and hence opinions are often disputed right hum ye nahi kehte ye tumhara point of view hai aisa kuch nahi hua tha ye tum sochti ho maine to aisa kuch nahi kaha tha isn't that so sometimes we say something but the next person perceives or welcomes or absorbs it it in a different manner hamara meaning wo nahi hota lekin wo convey ho jata hai what's the reason the subjectivity of the person who's receiving it isn't that so jab main aapko thoda bahut agar daand deti hu to ab aap usko subjective ho ke soche to aap kahenge har waqt daand hi deti hu bolti hai objective ho ke soche to it is needed somewhere it is required so that you can take a uh, motivated action an informed action for your own future right so objectivity would tell you that it's okay it is part of it subjectivity she is very rude her work done the right yes the objectivity or subjectivity is different like that the language of academic writing is different from the language you would use when having a chat with friends it is objective although you may have strong feelings about an assignment topic your writing should provide references and evidences to have your right up having a background to it for example the mini presentations that have been assigned to you most of the topics are very personal they require you to have an objective opinion right but you should be able to come up with an opinion that should be academically objective with references and evidences let's say your topic is that online teaching is uh, uh, less effective as compared to on campus teaching that's your topic now you want to back up the claim you agree with it right so you can back it up with the surveys with researches that have been conducted already that online teaching is not as effective as on campus teaching aise articles hain aur isko aur delimit karne ke liye to limitize it you can bring in pakistan aise bahut sari researches hain jo within pakistan conduct ki gayi hain especially south asian or pakistani students they take no great interest or any interest in online teaching whatsoever because they lack aim they don't have direction in their life ek general perce- perception hai about us ke hamare jo bacche hote hain wo aimless hote hain do you agree no you should you don't देखिए ना आप में से मेजोरिटी ने मुझे बताया ये आपकी सेवेंथ प्रायोरिटी थी टू कम टू दिस डिग्री नो सेवेंथ से भी बाहर चले गए हम सो एमलेसनेस वो हमारे साथ एसोशिएट करते हैं दिस इज हाउ दे कंडक्टेड क्योंकि हमारे से जब सर्वे लिए जाते हैं हमें सर्वे पढ़ना ही नहीं आ रहा होता हम पढ़ना ही नहीं जाते एंड डोंट टेक इट टू योर हार्ट मे बी यू विल चेंज यू विल इवॉल्व आई इवॉल्व आई वॉज एग्जैक्टली द सेम यू आर एट द मोमेंट at that time there was nobody to guide me us log itna koi hype bhi nahi thi ke padhna hai kuch karna hai no the background i come from no, nobody was interested in studying whatsoever i have been pressurized to leave this and go do something else for the you know for 7 years now bahut kuch hai lekin wo apni will power pe apni motivation pe you never know आपका टर्निंग पॉइंट कब आने वाला है मे बी अभी हंजला कह रहे हैं कि दे हैव नो इंटरेस्ट वॉट्स एवर मे बी बाई द थर्ड सेमेस्टर ही माइट बिकम द टॉपर ऑफ द कोर्स ही माइट बिकम वेरी इंटरेस्टेड इन द डिग्री वट एवर ही इज डूइंग इन माई केस इन माई डिफेंस इंग्लिश वॉज द ओनली थिंग दैट आई वॉन्ट टू डू बिकॉज मुझे और कुछ नहीं आता अभी भी नहीं आता राइट right? इसके अलावा मेरे पास कोई प्लान था ही नहीं बट आई वुड रिकमेंड प्लान भी होना चाहिए ना वंस आई हैव एंटर्ड माई प्रोफेशनल लाइफ There are many hurdles, you know, 
economically, financially, I have to work extra in order to get that extra penny because of I'm teaching English. I get less payment as compared to scientific subjects, right? So, you should plan B. You should have a passive income. If you have a passive income, you should have a passive income. I don't know if you have a passive income, but I think you should be guided that you always must have a plan B. You should be making something out of it. Never give up. हम अगर ये सोच अभी बनाएंगे तो आप जब मेरी एज तक पहुंचेंगे यू विल हैव अ स्टैंडिंग इन दिस सोसाइटी यू विल हैव कॉन्फिडेंस दैट यू कैन मूव फॉरवर्ड अदरवाइज यू नो टाइम्स आर बिकमिंग डार्कर एंड डार्कर डे बाय डे यू नो जो कुछ हो रहा है तो उसमें आपकी जो सब्जेक्टिविटी है आपके ऑब्जेक्टिविटी को हैंडल करेगी तो अपनी सब्जेक्टिविटी को भी आप ट्रेन कर सकते हैं यू कैन ट्रेन योर माइंड दैट इट्स ओके फेलियर्स आर पार्ट ऑफ लाइफ एंड आई हैव टू गो फॉरवर्ड विद दैम Yes. Like, like you said, there's, man, there are certain topics in which we can add researches. Like you said, even the topic. For example, my case, my topic is if I wanted to be, if I could be a famous person, who would I be? Then it's going to be subjective. You can use the uh, expressive uh, expressions in which you will be using. I think, I feel, I would have done this. Then you can definitely. I told you some of the topics might be. Uh, objective, but the rest of them are there for you to express them using expressive words that I've shared with you. For example, I feel I can do this. I will be doing this. In my opinion, I think I want you to use such expressions. You need to be able to express yourself as well, right? At university, you are expected to do a research on a topic using information found in relevant publications, references box, and textbooks. In other words, you will need to cite. Respected scholars and authorities. Do you understand this word site? C I T E site. Eko te S I T E site. What's that? S I T E site. Let's go to the site. Eko bolisite na kadi hota. Nee, site is it? Okay. Jaga. Acha, bilkul. Yes, a location, a place, especially for engineers. Wo hoti nii field work jahan karte hain usko site bolte hain wo. एक वर्ड होता है एस आई जी एच टी साइट दैट इज योर देखना राइट एस आई टी ई इज अ प्लेस अ लोकेशन अ जोग्राफिकल प्लेस वेर यू कैन गो एंड वर्क वट अबाउट दिस साइट सी आई टी ई साइट रीड द सेंटेंस इट माइट गिव यू द मीनिंग एब्सोल्यूटली इट इज रिलेटेड टू दैट साइटेशन इज वेन यू गिव इन टेक्स साइटेशन डू यू अंडरस्टैंड रेफरेंस इन एविडेंस At the end of research papers, you must have seen some references. You can cite them, which is actually called in-text citation within the text. Let's say you're taking three words from an author, somebody else, and you want to cite them. So, अब वो तीन लफ्जों को लिख के साथ citation बना सकते हैं. अब citation बनाने के भी more than seven तरीके हैं. The ones that I know, there would there could be more. In your case, because you're from um, Environmental sciences, you are going to use APA or IEEE. That is American Psychological Association, and IEEE is specifically for engineering courses. Then we have MLA, we have Chicago Style, we have Chicago Six, we have etc. etc. अब आपको लग रहा होगा कि ये क्या words हैं मैम क्या कह रही हैं? Let me show you. Should I show you? Yes. Take a look. <coughs> Do you know what is J store? J store. Uh, it's a very good uh, journal, a collection of journals where you can find scientific journals which are authentic. जो किसी ने भी नहीं लिखी है वे बल्कि authentic लोगों ने लिखे हैं अच्छे respectable journals में ये published हैं तो अगर आपने कोई भी information लेनी होती है अगर research article से पढ़नी है तो आपको यहाँ जाना चाहिए J store ये आप देख सकते हैं ठीक है अब ये मैंने एक देखिए आर्टिकल खोला है इन्वायरमेंटल साइंस सस्टेनेबिलिटी एंड पॉलिटिक्स अब इसमें रेफरेंसेस होंगे कैसे होंगे लेट मी शो यू ये देखिए जर्नल आर्टिकल का नाम ये लिखा हुआ है ठीक है ऑथर का नाम ये लिखा हुआ है जर्नल का नाम ये रहा फिर हमारे पास वॉल्यूम नंबर है देन वी हैव पेजेस एंड एक्सेट्रा और ये इसका यू कहते हैं इसको इसको डी भी कहते हैं इसका स्टेबल 
एक शॉर्ट एंड यू uh, होता है जो आप अपनी साइटेशन में ऐड कर सकते हैं रेफरेंस लिस्ट में ऐड कर सकते हैं अब देखिए यहाँ पे भी लिखा हुआ है साइट कैन यू सी साइट को क्लिक करें तो ये तीन किस्म के आपको शो uh, uh, करता है आप और भी कर सकते हैं एम एल ए शिकागो एंड ए पी ए अब देखिए एम एल ए में सबसे पहले ऑथर का नाम है शिकागो में भी ऑथर का नाम है ए पी ए में भी लेकिन देर इज अ डिफरेंस ए पी ए में पहले ईयर ऑफ पब्लिकेशन है बट उन दोनों में डिफरेंट है सिमिलरली देर आर अदर वेज ऑफ गिविंग रेफरेंसेज बेसिकली रेफरेंसेज में जो मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन होती है दैट इज द ऑथर्स नेम द नेम ऑफ द वर्क द नेम ऑफ द आर्टिकल इफ इट इज अ रिसर्च आर्टिकल इफ इट्स अ बुक देन यू आर गोइंग टू हैव द ऑथर्स नेम बुक्स नेम ईयर ऑफ पब्लिकेशन 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 नेम and then pages if you are going to refer to some and then if there is a ebook or e version available some of the articles they are not available in electronic version to phir aap woh link nahi de sakte lekin jo cheeze electronic version mein available ho uska aap link de sakte hain although google books pe sab kuch pada hota hai almost jo agar jiske aapko full fledged books na bhi mile unke names mil jate hain to link to aap add karte hain samajh aa rahi hai main kya keh rahi hu is it making sense सो so, इस तरह से आप इनके रेफरेंसेस uh, दे सकते हैं इसके अलावा देखिए रिसर्च आर्टिकल के जो पार्ट्स होते हैं खैर ये आपके कोर्स का हिस्सा नहीं है बट आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू एब्स्ट्रैक्ट होता है एब्स्ट्रैक्ट में यूजुअली इंट्रोडक्शन होती है इस चीज़ की कभी आर्टिकल खोल के देखे आपने कोई यस ओके लेट मी ट्राई एंड मेक इट फुल स्क्रीन एक बस एक नज़र देखते हैं उसके बाद हम मैं आपको जो दिखाना चाह रही हूँ दैट इसकी लैंग्वेज Usually, mostly required होती है कि ये ऑब्जेक्टिव हो अब देखिए वही इन्फॉर्मेशन शुरुआत में वही आगे जो हमें चाहिए ये रेफरेंस उन्होंने बनाया हुआ है उसके बाद ये देखिए दिस इज दी नॉट दिस इज दी एबस्ट्रैक्ट एबस्ट्रैक्ट इज यूजली द मिनी जेस्ट और मिनी समरी ऑफ द इंटायर थिंग दैट यू हैव रिटन ठीक है नाउ लेट्स रीड फ्यू सेंटेंसेज research evidence and please that humans are undermining their own survival on a robust and unforgiving planet seem to be falling on deaf ears now look at the word choices the way it has been introduced mai likhti maine likhna tha researches show that people human kind for example human kinds are undermining uh, their natural resources available on the planet that is how i would write डिफरेंस है एकेडेमिक और पर्सनल में ये डिफरेंस हमने अचीव करना है ऑफ कोर्स इट विल टेक टाइम बट वी कैन ट्राई आगे देखें इज इट विजिबल द ड्राइव फॉर इकोनॉमिक एंड मिलिट्री सिक्योरिटी रिमेन्स मोर पावरफुल देन द एविडेंस दैट बोथ ऑफ दीज ऑब्जेक्टिव आर बींग अंडर माइंड बाय एनवायरमेंटल डैमेज सोशल डिस्ट्रप्शन अनजस्ट ट्रीटमेंट एंड फोर्स्ड माइग्रेशन ये the signs are growing that environmentally and socially sound futures may be vital prerequisites for economic and military stability now look at it there is no i lick conrad we have an author we have tim riordan but he is not taking responsibility of everything he is just writing indirectly but i am from literature english literature and linguistics in my field it is common to actually have one or two sentences where you actually pin point your own stance that i am going to do this this is the research gap that i have located but aapke case mein aapke courses or field mein maine nahi padha wo hamesha facts and figures hote hain aur indirect likha hota hai to aapne bhi yahi dekhna ab dekhiye yahan main hoti to maine likhna tha but i think it is possible which will make it subjective but it has to be objective so you can write but it is possible that the antagonistic political frameworks are being to be transcended by the moral influential aspects of etc etc phir main aapko dikhana chahti hu ki isme aur kya hota hai uske baad aapko jo maine aapko literature ki baat batayi dekhiye unhone pehli heading di hai perspective perspective mein ab dekhiye this paper adopts four linked themes usse ye nahi likha i am going to take four linked themes in my paper it is written as the paper will be focused on the paper focuses on the paper will focus is tarah ke indirect sentences use karte hain this is academic writing now do you understand better yes, yes. yes? agar aap chahe to aap koi bhi is tarah ka open karke padh sakte hain ye link agar aap chahte hain to main post kar sakti hu so that 
आप याद रख सकते हैं और आपको याद होगा मैंने आपको ट्रांजिशनल मार्कर्स पढ़ाए हैं शुरू में अब यहाँ पर देखें सेकेंड थर्ड to show the transition between paragraphs the author is using transitional markers it is also part of academic writing ye bahut acha ek flair dete hain aapke write up ko padhne wale ko bahut easily samajh aata hai likhne mein bhi bahut help hoti hai agar aap transitional markers ko use kare basic ones are firstly secondly thirdly fourthly next then finally and now ye aap use kar le to aapka jo write up hai kisi kisam ka bhi write up hai उसमें वो जो एक होता है ना हमें कोहरेंस नहीं लॉजिक नज़र नहीं आती वो लॉजिक अचीव हो जाती है वो क्लियर कट हो जाता है कि पहली बात कौन सी है और सेकंड बात कौन सी है तो ये आपका ऑब्जेक्टिव राइटिंग है और एकेडमिक राइटिंग है लेट मी शेयर द लिंक सो इफ यू वांट टू रीड इट लेटर यू कैन डू दोके मूविंग बैक टू ओके यस पर्सनल लैंग्वेज आई हैव टोल्ड यू क्या होती है यू कैन रीड ना दीज आर सम एग्जाम्पल्स दैट आई वुड रीड फॉर यू ओनली वन फर्स्ट वन आई गॉट इन फॉर्म कंसेंट इन अकॉर्डेंस विद द प्रोसीजर्स स्पेसिफाइड फॉर रिसर्च एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा नाउ आई इज द पर्सनल प्रोनाउन इज देर दैट्स वाई इट्स सब्जेक्टिव नॉन एकेडेमिक एंड क्रिएटिव वॉट वी नीड टू डू वी नीड टू मेक इट ऑब्जेक्टिव formal and academic in order to do, do that we'll take out personal pronoun and we'll write as informed consent was obtained in accordance with etc etc you understand look at the uh, third example i interviewed a total of 22 parents during the month of december 2009 now this is part of some research where the researcher is telling the audience is what he did but what i use kar raha what we need to do is we need to make it objective taking out personal pronoun and we can say a total of 22 parents were interviewed uh, in the course of my research and etc or my ko aap yahan se nikal dena you understand you can have such sentences in your examination where you might be asked to make it either objective or subjective either academic and formal or informal ya aapko ek academic sentence diya jaye pucha jaye ki aap isse creative writing mein change kare personal mein change kare to kar lenge Yes, इस तरह की एक्सरसाइजेस एग्जाम में हो सकती हैं वेन आर योर मेड टर्म्स टेन सो वी डू हैव अ स्मॉल टाइम स्मॉल टाइम ना स्मॉल इज द करेक्ट एक्सप्रेशन ओवर है वी हैव सम टाइम जजमेंटल लैंग्वेज अगैन इज योर पर्सनल लैंग्वेज राइट जजमेंटल लैंग्वेज सजेस्ट दैट यू आर मेकिंग अ पर्सनल जजमेंट बाई यूजिंग जजमेंटल लैंग्वेज इट मे साउंड एज दो यू हैव कम टू अ कंक्लूजन बेस्ड ऑन योर प्रीवियसली अक्वायर्ड नॉलेज योर बैकग्राउंड नॉलेज और कंटेक्चुअल नॉलेज दैट यू ऑलरेडी पजेस एकेडेमिक राइटिंग देर फॉर टेंस टू बी कॉशियस इट डज नॉट इंक्लूड एनी जजमेंटल लैंग्वेज नॉट लुक एट द एग्जाम्पल इंटरनेशनल स्कूल आर ऑलवेज एलिटियस्ट इंटरनेशनल स्कूल आर ऑफन व्यूड एज एलिटियस्ट Now tell me how is it more accurate? The uh, tick ones, more accurate? Why? Now Ma'am. you do the analysis. No, it's they use the word always. Hmm. That means that always, always, always. The second one, the tick one, they use the word often. That hmm. means sometimes. Sometimes. So that would tell you that some of the people can definitely disagree, right? It's not necessary that every international school, which is elitist, is. some of them they have other standards as well so the better version of expression would be often considered right then look at the third one smith's paper made such a remarkable contribution to the field smith's paper made a major contribution to the field such a remarkable is wordier it has more words we have to make it compact precise to the point so we can use a major contribution we have to make it less wordier जब आप एकेडेमिकली लिख रहे हैं ऑब्जेक्टिवली लिख रहे हैं फॉर्मली लिख रहे हैं जितने वर्ड्स कम हो सकते हैं उतने कम करने हैं फॉर एग्जांपल हमारे पास वो एक्सप्रेशन होता है ना इन ऑर्डर टू डू दिस तो जब भी हम टाइप करते हैं तो ऑटोमेटिकली वर्ड हमें बताता है कि इन ऑर्डर डू की जगह हम टू लिखें हम वर्ड्स को कम करें सो अगर आई नो आप ये सब याद नहीं रख सकते एक ही दिन में ये याद नहीं होगा एक सेमेस्टर में मे बी सालों में नहीं होगा 
लेकिन यू कैन बी कॉन्शियस अबाउर इट दैट यू नीड टू बी लेस वर्डियर इन योर अप्रोच यू हैव टू राइट लेस वर्ड्स सो दैट विल मेक योर राइट अप मोर एकेडेमिक मोर फॉर्मल मोर ऑब्जेक्टिव इमोटिव लैंग्वेज इज इमोशनल लैंग्वेज वेर यू यूजली यूज आई फील आई थिंक एंड एक्सेट्रा ना लुक एट दिस जैपनीज ऑर्थोग्राफी इज टू डिफिकल्ट टू बी वेल अंडरस्टूड जैपनीज ऑर्थोग्राफी इज नॉट जनरली वेल अंडरस्टूड इज टू डिफिकल्ट टू बी वेल इज टू डिफिकल्ट टू बी वेल मोर वर्ड्स एज कम्पेयर टू जेनरली आप समझ रहे हैं कैसे इसको लेस वर्ड यर करना है Now this is an example. Let's take a look at it quickly. Indeed, there are countless values that are shared by our Australian community and which are extremely relevant to the life-threatening issue of compulsory childhood immunization. Now this is a subjective paragraph. How do we know it? Australian. Our Australian children, etc. Right, because we are using personal pronoun over here, collective personal pronoun that is our. Of course, the protection of the health and well-being of Australian kids must be a shared response. Obviously, there are such vulnerable creatures who cannot protect themselves, and it is full of responsibility of the Australian community to stop endangering their fragile lives. Now, there is repetition as well, Australian children. Australian community, Australian that, Australian that, so इनको भी आप reduce कर सकते हैं right? फिर उसके बाद यहाँ पर लिखा हुआ है creatures who cannot protect themselves, kids, etc. अब इन सब को refer करने के लिए भी हमारे पास एक word हो सकता है We don't have to use so many words. अब देखिए हम बच्चों को creatures क्यों कह रहे हैं That can give you another sense as well, right? तो वो academic sound नहीं करता अब साइड आप साइड पे आपको इसका एनालिसिस दिया हुआ कि पर्सनल लैंग्वेज है देन सेकंड लाइन में जजमेंट दी हुई है ये जजमेंट है ना हु सेज के चिल्ड्रन ऑफ पर्टिकुलर एज कैन नॉट टेक केयर ऑफ देम सेल्स इज देयर एन एविडेंस टू बैक इट अप इज देयर अ रेफरेंस टू बैक इट अप नो देयर इज नॉट सो इट्स अ जजमेंट फिर असम्पन इज देयर वट इज अजम्पन जैसे हम अजम्पन पढ़ते हैं वैसे ही असम्पन होता है असम्पन क्या होती है जी असीूम करना इसका इसका ना डू यू हैव अनदर वर्ड फॉर असम्पन हम यूज इतना करते हैं कि शायद हमारे पास वर्ड नहीं होता प्रडिक्ट करना प्रडिक्ट करना राइट टू हैव दिस नोशन इन योर माइंड दैट दिस इज गोइंग टू हैपन ठीक है कि ये होगा लेट्स टेक अ लुक कि इसका अनदर वर्ड क्या हो सकता है Only then if you can prove it and if it is carried out again or the same conclusion. Not if it's logically true. Huh. Huh. It doesn't mean it scientifically should be true or something. It is. There should not be any research paper for it. Think again, but logically true. So, वो फिर objective हो सकता है. वो objective ही होगा अगर वो logically true है. Give me an example. सोचे. Give me an example कि अगर कुछ ऐसा हो कि जो आपको लगता है कि आपका personal opinion है लेकिन वो logically भी correct है. Think about it. Then I can give you a better understanding of it. थोड़ा सा सोचना पड़ेगा लेकिन समझ आ जाएगी जो मेरे दिमाग में जो चीज आ रही है आई थिंक वी शुड नॉट डिस्कस दैट इट्स रिलेटेड टू फेमिनिज्म लेकिन इट्स व्हाई नॉट आई डोंट माइंड आई एम नॉट अ फेमिनिस्ट एंड आई डू नॉट एग्री विद फेमिनिस्ट नोशंस दैट आर प्रैक्टिस इन पाकिस्तान बिकॉज़ दे आर इनकरेक्ट फेमिनिज्म डज नॉट मीन व्हाट यू सी इन द मीडिया टुडेस वर्ल्ड फेमिनिज्म सिंपली मींस बिकॉज़ इट्स अ वेस्टर्न कंट्री की थ्योरी है वेस्टर्न कंट्रीज में ये था एक फिनोमिना था कि फीमेल जेंडर वाज लेस पेड एज कम्पेयर टू द मेल जेंडर एंड देन फेमिनिज्म केम इन एंड इट ओनली आज फॉर सिमिलर वेजेस दैट्स ऑल हमने उसको मोल्ड करके पता नहीं क्या बना लिया है ऑल दो सम ऑफ द पॉइंट्स दैट आर रेज इन फेमिनिज्म आर करेक्ट फिजिकल वायलेंस शुड बी देयर ऑफकोर्स वो सब नहीं होना चाहिए लेकिन बहुत कुछ चीज़ों को आउट ऑफ प्रपोर्शन लिए जाया जा चुका है अब आपके माइंड में वो एक पर्सपेक्टिव वो एक पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू कुड बी राइट एंड इफ यू वांट टू बैक इट अप विद लॉजिक यू विल हैव टू कम अप विद अ सर्वे और रिसर्च और यू नो समथिंग दैट इज साइंटिफिक और लॉजिकल आप उसको खुद से कहोगे तो फिर वो वही वाला वो एक स्लोगन ही दुनिया में आजकल चल रहा है मेरा जिसम मेरी मर्जी जिसका कोई बेसिस नहीं है बेसिस इसका मैं आपको प्रोवाइड करती हूँ देर इज वन स्कूल ऑफ थाट अमंग दोज वेमेन हु कम ऑन द रोज they say that husbands and you know family members they decide whether i need to have a child or not 
in that case that slogan is correct there was an incident where a woman was not able to get pregnant after her divorce because she did not know that her husband decided to take her productive organs out that's unfair it's her body she should know because later on they got separated they were divorced usko nahi pata us bandi ko pata hi nahi hai ki unki productive organs nikal diye gaye when she was under दि नाइफ जब उनका कोई ऑपरेशन हो रहा था तो वो बच्चे जब हो रहे थे या जो भी तो हस्बैंड ने सोचा कि हम ये ख़त्म ही करवा देते सो दैट और बच्चे ना हो जो भी हो लेकिन लेटर ऑन दे गॉट डिवोर्स सो ही हैड नो राइट टू टेक दैट प्रोडक्टिव ऑर्गन आउट लेटर ऑन शी वॉज इन अ प्रॉब्लम एक बंदा एक नेचुरल आप एक्टिविटी को ऐसे ख़त्म कर रहे हैं किसी की कंसेंट के बगैर इन दैट केस इन दैट कॉन्टेक्स मेरा जिससे मेरी मर्जी करेक्ट बट जिस कॉन्टेक्स में बाकी लोग लेके जाते हैं वो क्वेश्चनेबल है See again, feminist theory is from the Western world, and in Western world, people, women, they work in the industries. They do. यहाँ पे कभी आपने female property dealer देखी है? You have not. I have seen so many agents, mostly females, working in the West as a property dealer. They break the deals. They bring the people in. They show them the house. मैंने अपनी मैं I'm thirty one years old. I have never seen a female property dealer. जो कहीं हमें घर जाकर दिखाए दो बेडरूम हैं और दो किचन नो नॉट एट ऑल बट वहाँ होता है वहाँ पे फीमेल इंजीनियर्स होती हैं वहाँ पर बहुत बड़ी पोजीशंस पे फीमेल्स होती हैं यहाँ नहीं है साउथ एशियन परस्पेक्टिव में अगेन देन वी विल हैव दैट परस्पेक्टिव के पाकिस्तान में पर्टिकुलरली इट इज़ सजेस्टेड इनकरेज और बिलीव दैट वीमेन कैन नॉट होल्ड प्रेशर प्रेशर वाली जो सीट्स हैं बिकॉज उनको ऐसे ट्रेन नहीं किया जाता ना बचपन से आप उनको एक रैप मटेरियल में रखते हैं यस इट्स वेरी कॉमन हमारे घर की खातन को हम कैसे रखते हैं हर चीज़ से बचाओ के फिर एकदम से हम कहते हैं जाओ दुनिया में जाकर आप सर्वाइव करके दिखाओ दैट्स नॉट फेयर यू गिव देम अ फेयर चांस जैसे बॉयज को एक्सप्लोर करने का पूरा पूरा हक होता है देन वुमेन शुड बी अलाउड टू क्यों आप लोगों को कहा जाता है दो बजे के बाद दिन के बाहर आप निकली तो आपको हम बताएंगे वो लोग रात को दो बजे आते हैं तो लुक एट द एक्सपोजर आई एम नॉट सेइंग कि आपको रात को दो बजे बाहर जाना है लेकिन एक्सपोजर में डिफरेंस देखें आपको आप नाइन्थ टेंथ में आपको बाइक दे दी गई आपको गाड़ी सिखा दी गई है राइट लड़कियों को नहीं ये नहीं हैंडल कर सकती इसकी तो लग जाएगी इसका तो ये हो जाएगा